I think we should do a leadership skills boot camp, and those are coming soon to a theater near you, okay? So we'll probably do that as well. But today, we're focused on closing skills. Today, we're focused on closing because closing is helping. All right, next slide, here we go. All right, so we're gonna play this video later. All right, so next slide, we'll be playing this video later. So what is closing? Closing is helping, closing is fun, closing is winning. Closing helps you build your crusade and closing helps you build your base shop because you got to learn how to close if you're going to teach people how to close. Because what do we always say in Pinnacle? What do we always say in Pinnacle? We say what? Closing is helping, but we also say ABC, always, <clears throat> always be closing. Closing is helping. Closing is fun. Closing is winning. Closing helps you build your crusade because... Here's what we say, learn it, teach it, master it, duplicate it. I want you to write that down. Learn it, teach it, master it, duplicate it. Learn it, teach it, master it, duplicate it. So you gotta learn how to close, so then you can teach your team how to close. Is that a deal? All right, <clears throat> let's make sure we do that. All right, so closing is fun and closing is winning. So remember, I told you we're gonna have some fun today. So. Back in the day, when I started, I was 21 years old. Mario Bayona was 18 years old. Randy was 19. Juan Jaime was 21. Anthony Resendez, Eric Carter, Paul Hart, all these studs, right, on my team. We were all 18, 19, 20, 21, 22 years old. And we were talking about closing. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> and we are watching all these inappropriate movies because we were young on closing, like, Wolf of Wall Street and Boiler Room and Glenn Gary, Glenn Ross and, um, you know, all these all these movies, right? <clears throat> Wall Street, things like that. We we're watching all these movies on closing. And um, and after we learned how to close, we started teaching people how to close. Right. We started teaching people how to close. And we had this little closing um little closing like body language that we did. So I want you to adapt this. OK, I want you to adapt this. So. What we did is we would always say, so, you know, Mario Bayona, how was the appointment? Hey, Paul Hart, how was the appointment? Hey, Juan Jaime, how was the appointment? Hey, Eric Carter, how was the appointment? Hey, Anthony Resendez, how was the appointment? Hey, Zach Rance, how was the appointment? Hey, Randy Sakaitos, how was the appointment? And remember, we were all 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23 years old, right? And we were having fun. We're like, how was the appointment? And if the appointment was good, we would, right, we would go like this. Boom. So you got to. So it's, it's the wrist. So you got to bring it back, pull it out and bring it back like this. That, that, that was like, it was good. Boom, boom, boom. I closed the term LB. Boom. I closed an Everest. Boom. I got a 200 a month. Boom. I got a rollover. Boom. But if it was like a big deal, like you closed the family bank, we would we'd be like this, like, oh, shoot. Boom. Got it. I closed a big rollover. Boom. Right. Like I got a big one. I got a big one. Boom. Right. And so we were just like, how's the appointment? And we just go like this. We'd be looking in, in each other's office window and we go like this. Got it. Close them. Got it. Recruit. Close. Help the family. Boom. Right. And we just go like that. So it's a little risk. Can you do that with me? You got to pull it back. Right. Throw it out. Pull it back. Throw it out. Pull it back. Throw it out. Pull it back. Right. That was like the, the flick of the wrist. The little flick of the wrist. A little flick of the wrist. Boom. Right. And that was our close. That was our close. We had some fun with it. Like, got them, got them, got them, help them, close them, done, done, done. Right? A little flick of the wrist. Right? So we had some fun with it. It was awesome. And we just did that little flick of the wrist. Boom. If it was a big one, we'd go, ah, oh, got it. Boom. Right? If it was a little, little term LB, little Everest, little million dollar baby, little $50 a month, we just got the little ones. Right? But if it was a big one, if it was a big one, boom, right? So, so anyway, so I want you to adopt that in your office. We had a lot of fun with that. And uh, that's the pinnacle way. That's the pinnacle way. That's how we close deals, all right? So you got to have some fun with it. And closing is winning and closing is fun. All right, next slide. Here we go. So, so learn how to close and you will never be without work. And you will never be without money. Isn't that the truth? Because again, if you can close something, you can close anything. Next. All right. So closers mindset, A, B, C, always be closing. By the way, I'm going to go through this PowerPoint pretty fast. So make sure you take pictures of the good slides. If you like some slides, make sure you take some good pictures of them. All right. So 
you got to have confidence and you got to have swagger. I'm telling you, the number one most positive characteristic trait that you could have is confidence. Confidence. You got to have confidence. And if you don't have confidence yet, at least have Godfidence. You believe in God, so you know God has your back. God is your number one business partner, so at least have Godfidence if you don't have confidence. You know that your leaders believe in you. I believe in you. Your SMD believes in you. So if you don't believe in yourself yet, at least borrow your SMD's belief in you. You got to have confidence and you got to have swag, okay? You got to be thinking, I get what I want. I'm telling you, you got to think, I get what I want in all aspects of life because I'm a good person. My intentions are good. I know my goals. I know my affirmations. I look at my vision board. I get what I want. I will get it done. Have a WIT mentality. You know, Juan Jaime, he always wears a hat. It says WIT. You know what WIT stands for? Whatever it takes. Whatever it takes. As long as it's legal, moral, and ethical, I'm going to go do whatever it takes. Okay? Number four, I don't take excuses because I don't make excuses. And I don't make excuses because I don't take excuses. Simple as that. You got to have a standard of excellence for yourself. You cannot give yourself excuses. You got to make it happen because you can make big money or you can make a bunch of excuses, but you can't make both. All right. I'm a closer. So I have a base shop of closers. But remember, there's closer with an S and then there's closer with a Z. So I want you to go from a closer with an S to a closer with a Z. All right. Next slide. So these are some of the movies that I was talking about. Some of them are pretty inappropriate, but they're, they're pretty funny. And it'll just get you that closers mentality, that closers mindset. When we were super young, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25 years old, we used to all sit in my office late at night after the work was done, after we finished, um, we finished our, our day, we would all sit in my office and we'd watch these little five minute movie clips and we'd all get fired up uh, to go close. But the good news about our business, again, we're actually genuinely helping people. We're actually genuinely putting people in a better position financially. So these movies, they're, they're kind of inappropriate because maybe they're not doing the best thing. But if you just have the closers mentality and the closers mindset, you'll be good. All right. Next slide. So I'm going to go over. Real quick, no big deal. I'm going to go over the 30 ways to close. Are you guys ready? This is some heavy note taking time. The 30 ways to close. All right. Number one, ask the right questions. Ask the right questions. If you ask the right questions, you'll get the right answers you're looking for. And then you got to listen. Do you know that we have two ears and one mouth for a reason? We got to use them accordingly. Does that make sense? One more time. We have two ears and we have one mouth for a reason. We have to use them accordingly. Listen more than you speak. When you're talking to people, I don't want it to just be a presentation. I want it to be more of a conversation. You guys get it? Make it more of a conversation, not just a presentation. Okay. So when you meet with people, what are some good things you can talk about? How do you build rapport? Something called form, F-O-R-M, family, occupation, recreation, and message. So tell me about your family. Oh, that's awesome. How long have you guys been married? Oh, well, that's great. How many kids do you have? Are you originally from this area? Wow. What, what ages are your children? Oh, what are, they, what are they into? Wow. My kids play football too. Wow, that's awesome. Occupation. What do you do for work? How long you been working there? How did you get into that? Let me ask you a question. What do you like most about what you do? Let me ask you another question. What do you like least about what you do? By the way, this is very important. Every single time I ask people, what do you do for work? What do you do for a living? And they tell me, how did you get into that? How long you been doing that? And then they've been telling me. And then I say, what do you like most? about what you do. And then I always say, what do you like least about what you do? And whatever they like least 
about what they do, you make WFG the answer. You make Pinnacle the answer. Oh, I don't feel like I'm getting paid what I'm worth. Oh my goodness, how would you like to double your income? I don't feel like I'm spending enough time with my family. Oh my gosh, how would you like to work from home, make money from home, and spend a lot of time with your family? You guys get it? Whatever they like least, make WFG and Pinnacle the answer, okay? Recreation. Uh, what do you like to do for fun? What, what's the favorite place you've ever traveled to? What's your favorite sports team, right? A lot of people don't have a lot of free time, but you know what? We should talk about, hey, we're going to Cabo, we're going to Cancun, we're going to Hawaii, we're going to Scotland and Ireland. We have all these trips with WFG. And then the message. Let me tell you why I'm doing this business. Can I speak to you from my heart for a second? You know, my grandma and grandpa, they were great people. My mom's parents in Detroit, Michigan, they had 17 children, 17 kids. I guess there was no TVs back then. So my, mother, my grandmother was a full-time mom with 17 kids. My grandfather was a pretty successful guy. He had a term life insurance policy. He paid into this policy every single month for 30 years. 30 years later, his policy expired. He had no more life insurance. And then seven months later, he passed away. So my grandfather literally passed away, left my grandmother and 17 children with no life insurance. And that devastated our family. The 17 kids moved into 11 different states and our family really has never been close ever since. It was a terrible thing. So my family got left behind and I was devastated, but I am now in this business to make sure no other families get left behind. I'm very passionate about what I do because we're helping families and most people don't have this education. So that's why I love what I do. <clears throat> so let me see if I can help you. By the way, you got to have a powerful crusade story. You got to have a powerful, um, you know, mindset with that. So your message, remember Ed Milet said in our virtual convention, he said, can I just speak to you from the heart for a minute? Can I just tell you why I'm doing this for a minute? Boom. You got to have that powerful two minute crusade story. Very, very important. And don't interrupt when they're talking. Okay. Next slide. Next slide. Number two, number two way to close, <clears throat> have passion, energy, and conviction when you're talking to people. You guys got it? Have passion, energy, and conviction when you're talking to people. Personal story, crusade story, sell the dream. Personal story, crusade story, sell the dream. When you're talking to people, you gotta be fired up. You gotta be excited. By the way, People don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. So make sure that they know you care about them and you're there with good intentions. But also, people believe when they see you believe. People are excited when they see you're excited. You got to be fired up. Closing is literally you speaking to them and they say, oh my gosh, I don't even know if I believe everything they're saying. But shoot, I know they believe everything they're saying. So guess what? If you're on fire, they're going to be on fire. If you're excited, they're going to be excited. So you got to have good, positive energy. You got to be smiling. You got to be excited. You got to be fired up. Here's a really, really good little tip. You got to talk about your policies. Here's my IUL. Here's my wife's IUL. Here's my kids IULs. Here's my parents IUL. Here's my term LB. Here's my Everest policy. Here's my fixed index annuity I have, right? You got to start showing people your policies. You got to be a card carrying member. Okay. Because guess what? If you believe they will believe Because think about it. If you're going to talk about how the IUL is the best thing in the world, you should have a family bank. IUL, save money, protect your family, get guarantees on your money, get index strategies, lock in your gains, protect your health, protect your business, outpace inflation, reduce taxation, higher rates of return on your money, tax-free retirement. Isn't this an amazing plan, this IUL? Isn't it the best thing you've ever heard? And they said, yeah, this is awesome. And then they say, do you have one? And they say, no, 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 I, I don't have one, but it's great for you. What? Oh my gosh, 
You just wiped out your credibility. You just wiped out your credibility. You can't be a hypocrite, right? We got to believe in what we sell. We got to practice what we preach. We got to be a card carrying member. Do you know that Sandra and I, my wife and I, we own 57 IULs. We have 57 IULs, 57 family banks. That's how much we believe in this stuff. But I started with just one. You got to at least have just one. Okay, next slide. This is really good. This is Grant Cardone. Grant Cardone is one of the masters of sales. He said, a business owner once told me, I don't want to push my products on my customers. And then I said, it's a shame that you have products that you don't believe in. <clears throat> wow. You guys understand what that means? Nobody knows what we do. Everybody needs our help. Nobody knows about IUL and family banks. Nobody knows about personal private pension plans and fixed index annuities. People need our help. Don't think you're pushing stuff on people. If you believe in what you do, you're going to talk to everybody. We have the cure to financial cancer. We got to go spread the word. Okay. What do we say? Join, own, share. 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 What does join, own, share mean? Join the company, own the product, share the good news with other people. Join our company, own the product, share the good news with other people. Join, own, share. Join the company, own the product, share the good news with other people. We're not pushing anything on people because we know our intentions are good and we're doing the best thing for families. Okay, next slide. Number three, give people options. Give people options. Three options. Don't overcomplicate it. Allow the products to sell themselves. Albert Einstein, Albert Einstein said, if you can't explain it simply, you don't understand it well enough. Wow, that's powerful. Don't be overcomplicated. You've got to keep it simple, keep it simple, keep it simple. You guys know the KISS method? Keep it simple, silly. The KISS method. Keep it simple. If you can't explain things simple, you don't know it well enough. All right? So here's an example. We have three different positions available for you in our firm if you qualify to work with us. Referral, part-time, or full-time. Where do you see yourself fitting in? You give them three options, they're usually going to pick the middle. Part-time. This family bank, this IUL, isn't it amazing? How much do you want to save starting out? $200 a month, $500 a month, or $1,000 a month? What sounds good for you at this time? They usually pick the middle, $500 a month. All right, do you want to get an IUL, a term LB, or an Everest, or all three? <clears throat> what sounds the best? If you give people three options, they will close themselves. <clears throat> do you want to jump on uh, this morning, this afternoon, or evening? Let's jump on a Zoom. Morning, afternoon, or evening better for you. Monday, Wednesday, or Friday better for you? My home or your, or your place? My home or your home? My office or your office? Morning, afternoons, or evenings? This week or this weekend? If you give people options, they will close themselves. Give people options. Very, very important. Because people want to know that they're making the decision. If people believe they're making the decision, it'll be easier for you to close. Okay, next. Number four. Here we go. Next. All right. My buddy, Wilson Wong. You got to be on point, Wilson. All right. Here we go. Number four. Assume the close. When we're sitting with clients, we have something called the five magic questions. This is very good. I want you guys to take a picture of this. Take a picture of this. Okay. So I'm sitting with the client. I said, we have five magic questions that I want to ask you real quick. Number one, at what age would you like to retire? Question number two, how much money would you like to have saved total when you do retire? Question number three, how much income per month would you like to live on for the rest of your life in retirement? Question number four, what are some of your big goals and dreams in retirement? And then question number five, if we could put together a plan to show you how to accomplish all of your dreams and all of your goals in retirement, wouldn't that be something that you'd want to take advantage of? Yes. Great. And then they tell you their goals. I want to retire at age 65. I want to have a million dollars saved. 
I want to live on 10,000 a month for the rest of my life. I want to buy a condo on the beach in Hawaii, travel around the world with my grandkids. Great. So if I can put a plan together for you that allows you to retire at age 65 with a million dollars saved so you can live on 10,000 a month for the rest of your life, so you can buy that condo on the beach in Hawaii and travel the world with your grandkids. If I can put together a plan that allows you to accomplish all these goals and dreams, would that be something you want to take advantage of? Yes or yes? Yes, of course. Absolutely. Great. Next, dime. Do you know how the financial industry determines how much protection you should have on your family? I want you to write that question down. Do you know how the financial services industry determines how much protection you should have on your family? And they say, no. I say, well, it's an acronym called DIME. DIME, debt, income, mortgage, education. Debt, income, mortgage, education. So how much debt do you have? How much income do you make per year? Times that by 10 years. How much do you owe left on your mortgage on your home? And then how much do you need for your kid's education? If you add that all together, minimum, they're gonna need a million dollars worth of protection for their family. I honestly believe the minimum policy should be a million dollars. My wife and I, we have a $50 million policy. That's just one of our plans. So minimum, if, if they have a husband, wife, or two partners and some kids, minimum million dollars, minimum. I always say, my goal is to get you a million dollars worth of legacy for your family, a million dollars in retirement, tax-free, guaranteed with no fees. If I can get you a million dollars guaranteed tax-free with no fees, million dollars worth of legacy, and a million dollars tax-free in retirement, would that be something you want to take advantage of? Yes or yes? Of course. Can you say that with me? Million dollars guaranteed tax-free, no fees. Million dollars guaranteed tax-free, no fees. Million dollars worth of legacy, million dollars tax-free retirement. You have both. And with this IUL, you have both. So how much money can you comfortably put aside each month to reach all your dreams and goals in retirement? You wanna do $200 a month, $500 a month, $1,000 a month, $1,500 a month, $2,500 a month. What's a good number that you can put aside to reach all your dreams and goals in retirement? We get you a million dollars worth of legacy for your family, million dollars tax-free in retirement, guaranteed tax-free, no fees. Boom. Let's do $1,000 a month. Perfect. Let's do $1,000 a month. Okay, that'll be $1,000 a month for you. What about for your wife? What about for your four kids? Okay, that's going to be another $1,000 a month. Okay, so total $2,000 a month. Does that sound good? Yes. By the way, you got to know the right words to use. This is a business of words. If you know the words, you'll know the business. If you know the words, you'll know the business. So make sure you say the right words, okay? So I don't say life insurance, I say legacy. I don't say life insurance, I say legacy. Don't you wanna leave a legacy for your family? Don't you wanna build an empire and leave a legacy for your family? Don't say life insurance. Life insurance is not sexy. Life insurance is not sexy because words create pictures. Words create pictures. So th say things like protection. Say things like leave a legacy. So if I can get you a million dollars worth of legacy and a million dollars in tax-free retirement, would that be something you'd want to do? Yes or yes? Of course. Next slide. All right. <clears throat> take it away. Don't give it away. Take it away. Don't give it away. Take it away. People don't want stuff for free. You have to take it away. Okay, so on a client side, I'm not sure if you qualify, but I think it makes sense to at least try. On the business partner side, if I were to consider you for this position, what would you bring to the table? You can't just say, oh my gosh, you got to join me in this business. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be incredible. It's going to be awesome. We can, be on, we can work together. I'll be your upline. You'll be my downline. We can help each other. Oh my gosh, they're going to be like, whoa, 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 whoa. Calm down, right? You're too excited. Right? I work at Walmart. Why are you so excited about me being in financial services? You have to take it away. If I were to consider bringing you on board this company, where would you see yourself fitting in? What could you bring to the table? What are some of your strengths? Do you have a background in being an entrepreneur, business owner, finance, closing, sales, anything? Right? Hey, I still got to get the final approval from our senior broker. 
I still got to get the final approval from our CEO, Mr. Michael Chernowski. I still got to get the final approval from our senior executive vice chairman, Daniel Linda Fombo. I still got to get the final approval from our executive vice chairman, Peter Leilani Lee. I still got to get the final approval from our executive marketing director, Mr. Stacy Quinn, but I could put in a good word for you. Take it away, take it away, take it away. I know this rollover sounds great. We're going to roll over your 401k. No taxes, no fees, no penalties. We'll get you a 20% signing bonus up front, guarantee, lock in your gains, pension income for life. I know this sounds great, but there's a catch. I'm not sure if you qualify. Let's get on the phone. Let's call them. Let's see if you qualify. I'm not sure if you qualify, but I figure it makes sense to at least try. I want you to write that down. I'm not sure if you qualify, but I figure it makes sense to at least try. I'm not sure if you qualify, but I figure it makes sense to at least try. I don't know if you qualify, but I figure it makes sense to at least try. So let me give you a really bad example. You guys want to hear it? <laughs> a really bad example. It's a funny example, but it's a bad example, but I'm going to give it anyways. So there's this lady. She's an SMD in my organization. She's direct to me. She's a really nice lady. She's a good friend of mine. She's like my little sister from another mister. And she came up to me. She said, Eric, oh my gosh, I've been with my boyfriend for eight years and he just won't propose to me. He won't, he won't like, you know, marry me. Like, I don't know what's going on. I said, don't you guys live together? She goes, yeah, we've lived together for seven years. I said, girl, you got to take it away. Don't give it away. Take it away. Don't buy. I mean, he's not going to want to buy the cow if the milk's for free. Oh my gosh. Take it away. Take it away. Take it away. Don't give it away. Take it away. You're doing everything for him. You're living with him. You're doing all this stuff. You got to take it away, girl. She's like, all right, I'm going to take it away. So guess what? She broke up with him. And all of a sudden he started following her around everywhere. Two months later, he proposed to her and now they're married and they're happily married. They just bought a house together. I won't tell you their names because you know who they are. But anyways, long story short, guess what? She took it away. She took it away. So guess what? She took it away. Boom. Now, guess what? They're married, happily married, just bought a house. Awesome. Take it away. Take it away. Take it away. Don't give it away take it away. You guys got it? All right, next. <laughs> All right. Next slide. All right, number six, nod and smile. Nod and smile. Nod and smile. You got to be like a bobblehead. You know who's one of the best at that? Austin Harwood. My buddy, Austin Harwood. He's like the family bank specialist in Pinnacle. He's always going like this. You notice that Austin? I love that. It's it's positive energy. It's positive energy. Hey, do you know the audience makes the speaker? The audience makes the speaker. So if you're nodding and smiling, you're fired up, you're excited. Guess what? That's good. Some people think before they speak. Some people speak before they think, but the smart ones, they just nod and smile, smile and nod. <laughs> smile and nod. All right. So when you're on appointments, make sure you're nodding and smiling, nodding and smiling. Okay. Very important. You got to have good energy. You got to have good energy. You got to be excited. You got to be fired up. Okay. Nod and smile, nod and smile. Don't go like this. Cause if you go like that, that's not good energy. You got to be sitting there Right? Good. Okay. Make sure you nod and smile. Number seven. Number seven. Overcome the objections before it comes up. We're going to play a video right after this. Right after number seven, we're going to play a quick video. So you can stretch out, do some jumping jacks, grab a protein shake, go to the bathroom, grab a protein bar. Right after number seven, we'll do a quick video. Okay? All right. Number seven. Overcome the objections before they come up overcome the objections before they come up. Just so you know, this is not a join type of business. Not everybody qualifies to work here. There's a background check. We work with people's money. You got to have a clean record. You got to get a license with the state. You have to follow our system. You have to be coachable. 
You have to show up to the trainings. This is not just for anybody. This is not a join type of business. You have to be the real deal. You have to be legit. Overcome the objection before it comes up. So what do you bring to the table? Take it away. Okay. Hey, just so you know, not just anybody can get this IUL. Not just anybody can get this family bank. You have to qualify. There's a medical exam. They look at your credit. They look at your income. They look at your assets. This is not just for anybody. So I'm not sure if you qualify, but I figure it makes sense to at least try. Hey, I know you're excited about rolling over your money, rolling over your 401k, your IRA to this FIA, but I just want you to know not everybody qualifies for this, right? We got to find out. We got to call the company, find out is your money eligible, find out if they're uh, they're doing the CARES Act. We got to find out, do you have any legacy money? We got to call the 1-800 number. So this is not just anybody can qualify for this. This special 20% bonus, this might be going away soon. So, hey, let's, let's see, if, uh, see if you qualify, okay? Overcome the objection before it comes up. Just so you know, this is a legitimate business. We're not selling makeup or Tupperware or candles or vacuums or energy drinks. This is financial services. We're regulated by the NASD, the SIPC, the uh, state of California, all your 50 states, Department of Insurance, Securities Exchange Commission. This is not just for anybody. This is a legitimate business. Just so you know, overcome the objection before it comes up. You guys got it? All right. Were those good seven points? All right. Let's play a quick video. I'll see you guys back in about five minutes. Do some jumping jacks. Do some push-ups. Grab a protein shake. I'll see you back in five minutes. We'll watch this funny video. Okay, here we go. Let me have your attention for a moment. Let's talk about something important. Are they all here? All but one. Well, I'm going anyway. Let's talk about something important. Put that coffee down. Coffee's for closers only. <laughs> you think I'm with you? I am not with you. I'm here from downtown. I'm here from Mitch and Murray. And I'm here on a mission of mercy. Your name's Levine. Yeah. You call yourself a salesman? Because the good news is you're fired. The bad news is you've got all you've got just one week to regain your job, starting with tonight. Starting with tonight's sit. Oh, have I got your attention now? Good. Because we're adding a little something to this month's sales contest. As you all know, first prize is a Cadillac Eldorado. Anybody want to see second prize? Second prize is a set of steak knives. Third prize is you're fired. You get the picture? You laughing now? You got leads. Mitch and Murray paid good money. Get their names to sell them. You can't close the leads you're given. You can't close. You are. Hit the bricks, pal, and beat it, because you are going out. The leads are weak. The leads are weak. Leads are weak. You're weak. I've been in this business 15 years. What's your name? That's my name. <laughs> you know why, mister? Because you drove a Hyundai to get here tonight. I drove an $80,000 BMW. That's my name. And your name is your wanting. And you can't play in the man's game. You can't close them. Then go home and tell your wife your troubles. Because only one thing counts in this life. Get them to sign on the line which is dotted. You hear me? A, B, C. A, always B, B, C, closing. Always be closing. Always be closing. A, I, D, A. Attention, interest, decision, action. Attention. 
Do I have your attention? Interest. Are you interested? I know you are, because it's or walk. You close or you hit the bricks. Decision. Have you made your decision for Christ? An action. A-I-D-A. -A. Get out there. You got the prospects coming in. You think they came in to get out of the rain? A guy don't walk on the lot lest he wants to buy. They're sitting out there waiting to give you their money. Are you going to take it? Are you mad? to take it. Incredible. What's the problem, pal? You, Moss. You're such a hero. You're so rich. How come you're coming down here and waste your time with such a bunch of bumps? I made $970,000 last year. How much you make? You see, pal, that's who I am, and you're nothing. Nice guy. I don't give it. Good father. Go home and play with your kids. You want to work here? Close. You think this is abuse? You think this is abuse? You, you can't take this. How can you take the abuse you get on a sit? You don't like it. Leave. I can go out there tonight. The materials you got make myself $15,000. Tonight, in two hours, can you? Can you? Go and do likewise. A-I-D-A. -A. Get mad. Get mad. You know what it takes to sell real estate? It takes brass balls to sell real estate. Go and do likewise, gents. The money's out there. You pick it up, it's yours. You don't, I got no sympathy for you. You want to go out on those sits tonight and close? Close, it's yours. Not, you're going to be shining my shoes. video <laughs> that was a pretty good video right there hey coffees for closers put that coffee down coffees for closers only <laughs> you should start doing that in your office if they're not closing deals say hey put that coffee down coffees for closers only i like it so even though that was a kind of an inappropriate movie i i warned you but it is funny that movie was called glenn gary glenn ross Glenn Gary, Glenn Ross, old school movie, kind of inappropriate, but kind of funny at the same time. So, closers mentality, closers mindset. I want you guys to get that. Closers, closers, closers. All right, coffee's for closers only. I like it. By the way, what did they say? If you can't take the, um, you know, take the, let's see, the uh, abuse, Right now, how are you going to take the abuse on a sit? So what does that mean? If you can't take me being intense with you right now, how are you going to take the abuse on a field training appointment? You guys get it? Here's something I really want you to understand. Okay? Here's the something. Here's something I really want you to understand. You guys are learning how to close. After this is done, you guys are going to be able to learn how to close. You know how to close. So when you're on appointments, they should not be closing you. You got to be closing them. They didn't sit through this closers college. They didn't sit through hundreds of hours of training. You know how to close. They don't. So guess what? You need to close them. They didn't go to a closers college. They didn't learn how to close. They didn't sit and learn how to close IUL. You know how to close. They don't. So don't let someone who doesn't know how to close, close you. You are the closer. They're not. You guys get it? Very, very, very important. Okay. Good stuff. All right. Let's put on uh, put on my PowerPoint. Let's get back. All right. Here we go. Number eight. 
The number eight way to close. Well, let's go back to this quote. An objection is not a rejection. It is simply a request for more information. That is true. When people are asking you questions, don't feel like, oh my gosh, they're asking me questions. If they're asking you questions, that means they're interested. You guys know that? If people are asking you questions, that means they're interested. So don't feel bad when people are asking you questions or giving you objections. That means they're interested. Objections are opportunities. The greater the obstacle, the more glory and overcoming it. You know, when you close someone, you get like a rush. You get like a little rush. You get excited. And then you go like this. Close them. Close them. Close them. Close them. Boom. Right? And you get a rush and you get all excited. Right? So when people ask you questions or give you objections, don't feel bad because they're, they're interested. Okay? Next slide. Next slide. All right. Number eight, comparison selling. Comparison selling. You got to look at the differences between their 401k and our IUL family bank. Their 401k versus our 7702. Our 7702 will beat it every time. Their CD at the bank versus our FIA. Our FIA will beat it every time. Their little job versus our business. Okay. You got to show 401k articles. You got to show different things. Comparison selling, comparison closing, their job versus our business, their 401k versus IUL, their CD versus our FIA, their whole life versus our IUL, their uh, stocks versus our FIA. We got a comparison selling, comparison closing, comparison closing. Here's what you got. Here's what we have. Okay. Here's what you got. Here's what we have. Here's your 401k. No guarantees bunch of fees, bunch of taxes, limited contributions, no legacy for your family. Here's our IUL, guaranteed, tax-free, no fees, legacy for your family, unlimited contribution. So if you compare these two, what sounds better? No brainer, no brainer. Comparison selling, comparison selling, okay? Next slide, next slide. <clears throat> All right, here we go. So number nine, compelling evidence binder. Okay. Comparison, compelling evidence binder. You should have a compelling evidence binder. Okay. Very, very important. We used to call it a closers binder. Now we call it a compelling evidence binder. Okay. <clears throat> so you should have this binder and in the binder, you should have a bunch of good stuff in there. Articles, you should have uh, statements from clients, a bunch of good stuff. And now in this new Zoom era, you could have it in your presentation. Here's the 401k articles, articles IUL articles, pension articles, uh, client statements, Agon, Transamerica, WFG, Pinnacle, like have a bunch of good stuff in your closers binder because you always want to have something to say and something to show. Always have something to say, something to show. Now you can have digital copies. You can have digital copies of all these articles. Okay, all these articles, and you basically have things to say and things to show. So you're backing up everything that you're saying. Okay, I know I just talked to you about the IUL. Let me back it up by talking about how Fox Business News talks about how you legally cut out the tax man in retirement. Let me show you how the inventor of the 401k said he created a monster and it's not a good program. So just back up what you say, things to say, things to show, things to say, things to show. So always have your compelling evidence binder. Okay. If you don't have one, ask your SMD, ask your SMD. What I do in my base shop is when they get signed off as a certified field trainer, then I, um, I give them a compelling evidence binder. I give them like a hundred different articles of a lot of good stuff. And then they have their, their ammunition ready for war. Cause you gotta, you gotta know the five P's. What are the five P's? Proper preparation prevents poor performance. Proper preparation prevents poor performance. The five P's, okay, the five P's. So, you have all your articles ready, your statements ready, you have everything ready, and you're good to go. Always have things to say and things to show, compelling evidence binder, very, very important. All right, next slide, number 10. 
Number 10, way to close. Are you guys learning something? All right. Have empathy. Put yourself in their shoes. If I was sitting in your chair, I'd probably feel the same way. Put yourself in their shoes, okay? Have empathy. Feel, felt, found. This is a good one. You ready? I feel where you're coming from. I initially felt the same way at first, but you know what I found out? I feel where you're coming from. I initially felt the same way at first, but let me tell you why I what I found out. I feel where you're coming from. A lot of my clients initially felt the same way at first, but let me tell you what I found out. I feel where you're coming from. A lot of my new business partners initially felt the same way at first, but let me tell you what they found out. Okay? I'm telling you, this is good stuff. Feel, felt, found. Feel, felt, found. Put yourself in their shoes. If I was sitting in your chair, I'd probably feel the same way. Boom, boom, boom. Okay? All right, number 11. Next. Here we go. What if I told you? Empathy is much different than sympathy. Empathy is putting yourself in their shoes. Have empathy. Okay? Next. Number 11. Have total confidence when you're closing. Confidence is key. I want you to write this down. People see you the way you see yourself. People see you the way you see yourself. So if you feel like you know what you're talking about and you have confidence, they're going to see that. But if you're kind of unsure, they'll be kind of unsure. So remember, if you don't have confidence, at least have Godfidence. You need to know that what we are doing for people is really going to help them. It's not that they want it, it's that they need it. We offer, we sell things that people need. It's not necessarily that they want it, but they absolutely need it. People need to save money. People need to make more money. People need to protect their family, protect their health, protect their business, protect their money, get guarantees. All these things that we offer, people need. So you need to understand that. You also need to understand human nature. Everybody is skeptical at first, but you will turn skeptics into believers if you know how to close. You will turn skeptics into believers if you know how to close, because closing is helping. We turn skeptics into believers for a living. The more conviction you have, the easier it is to close, because it's conviction and certainty equals closing. I want you to write that down. Conviction plus certainty equals closing. Conviction plus certainty equals closing. Next slide, number 12. Confidence, you're doing it right. <laughs> you're doing it right. All right, good, next slide. Number 12, worst case scenario. Hey, worst case scenario, let's just see if you qualify. Hey, worst case scenario, you'll get the 20% signing bonus starting out. I mean, that'd be a great thing to, to at least get that. Worst case scenario, you'll get a world-class financial education, you'll hang out with some positive people, you'll learn all about money. Worst case scenario, we'll, you'll get a free physical. And that costs $400, but you'll get a free physical. Worst case scenario, you'll learn how to be an entrepreneur. Worst case scenario, we'll recommend a lot of good books and a lot of good personal development for you. Worst case scenario, let's just see if you qualify. Worst case scenario, right? Worst case scenario, worst case scenario, worst case. What's the worst case scenario? You lose $100? Are you kidding me? What's the worst case scenario? Worst case scenario, you don't qualify? Let's at least try. Worst case scenario, worst case scenario, worst case scenario, okay? Next slide. Number 13, test trial. The test trial close, test trial close. So I'm sitting there with them, I'm talking to them, I go, you know what, what we could do is we could just call your best friend right now and see if they'd be interested in doing this with you. What we could do is we could fill out this info sheet and send it to the company and see if you qualify. What we could do is we could just call the 1-800 number real quick and see if they even have the CARES Act. What we could do is call the 1-800 number right now and see if you're even eligible to roll your money over. What we could do is we can call your company you have insurance with and see what you actually have in your account and see if we can upgrade you and do a 1035 exchange with you. What we could do is get you signed up right now, pass the background check, 
and then we can go ahead and uh, schedule your test. So do the test trial. Hey, let's just test market this thing. Let's go talk to three people. Let me prove to you that this business works. And after that, you can make your final decision if you wanna go in business with me. What we could do is we can just see if you qualify based on a medical exam, and then if it goes through, then we'll go ahead and move forward. Does that sound fair? Does that sound good? Test trial, the test market. Let's just test market this thing. Let's just go talk to three people this week. Let me prove to you that this works. Test trial, test market. That's good stuff. Okay, next one, number 14, pros and cons. Price is what you pay, value is what you get. Warren Buffett. Price is what you pay, value is what you get. The great Warren Buffett. The great Warren Buffett also said, there's two rules of money. <clears throat> two rules of money. Rule number one, never lose your money no matter what. Rule number two, never forget rule number one. <laughs> Isn't that good? All right, pros and cons. Benjamin Franklin close. Okay, let's talk about all the pros. Let's talk about all the cons. Here's the pros of an IUL. Here's the pros of a family bank. Here's the pros of section 7702. You have protection for your family, life insurance legacy, long-term care, chronic critical terminal illness. You have a savings plan, tax-free retirement, tax-free pension, income stream for life. With the Transamerica product, you have an Everest, final funeral concierge service, bridge insurance, will. You have um, all these benefits. You have all these 10 benefits of this IUL. What's the con? I don't know. What's the con? You tell me. Here's all the benefits. What's the con? Right? Here's the pros. What's the cons? Here's the benefits. What's the negative? I don't know. Negative, maybe you have to do a medical exam, but with Transamerica, you can do up to $1 million and have no medical exam. So what's the cons? Okay. Our business. You join our business, you're around good people, millionaire mentors, we train you from A to Z, we'll help you out, we will uh, show you how to make money, we will teach you everything. I mean, you can make millions of dollars. Those are the pros, what are the cons? What are the cons? I don't know. You might not qualify to work with us, right? I, I don't know, like, you don't have time? Like, what's the cons? So pros and cons, pros and cons, pros and cons. Pros and cons, make sense? Do that, that's good, that's a good one. No cons. All right, next slide. Number 15, best time. Did you know there's 78 million baby boomers all retiring at the exact same time? Do you know that there's $63 trillion in wealth switching hands right now all at the same time? This is the best time ever to be in this business. In the next nine years, all these baby boomers will be retiring. This is the best time ever to be a part of this business. Do you know with this coronavirus, everybody's trying to get life insurance. Everybody's trying to protect their family. This is the best time ever to see if you qualify for this product. Did you know right now with Transamerica, we have a plan where you get up to a $1 million IUL, $1 million family bank, $1 million term LB with no medical exam. This is the best time ever to do this plan right now. Do you know with this program right now with Symmetra, you can get an IUL, even if you smoke marijuana, even if you had cancer before, they'll still approve you. Did you know that with Symmetra, this is the best time ever to get a product. Do you know with Nationwide, you have such low minimums, it's so flexible. You don't even need a social security number. As long as you have an I-10 number, you can get an IUL with Nationwide. Did you know with Pacific Life, oh my goodness, they added long-term care to their plan. It's such a great time to have this program right now. Did you know you can smoke a pipe or smoke cigars and still be a non-smoker with Pacific Life? Did you know if you do a Transamerica IUL, you get an, a free Everest policy with your plan? This is the best time ever to do this. Do you know right now they just came out with this CARES Act where you can take $100,000 out of your 401k with no penalty? This is the best time ever ever to do this best time close next one number 16 all right all right best time best time best time best time new era zoom era 
We're a technology-based company now. You can work exclusively from home now. You don't have to drive around to go on appointments now. You don't need to go to the office if you don't want to. You can be at home with your kids and make money. You don't need to invite guests to the office. You don't need to be in the office. You, you can do, we now do family banks. This is the best time ever. Next slide. We have legacy planning. We have way more access to Eric Olson and all the pinnacle leaders. We have an amazing platform with training. We have different guest speakers, different guest trainers from the convenience of your own living room or your own home office. We have the new Transamerica FFI UL 3-in-1 solution. We have new, more affordable and more convenient e and system. Wow, campaign manager. Next slide. We have Athene, North American, Global Atlantic that all have 20% bonuses on their FIAs. All you got to do is send Eric Olson's pre-recorded Zoom video and you can easily recruit just by sending a text message. We have WFG Direct, a lot more products to offer so you can make more money without a license. We have our zero to 100 system that guarantees higher persistency and better quality of business for our clients. We have meetings that are more efficient you could do 10 appointments a day on Zoom without leaving the comfort of your own home. Oh my goodness, that is incredible. Okay, next slide. All right, Libby asks, how do I get the Eric Olson pre-recorded video? You can ask your SMD for it or we'll post it right here on the, uh, on the Zoom webinar chat. Okay, we'll post my, my uh, bio and my pre-recorded BPM video because it's really, really good. You can just text it out to people and get some good stuff. All right, benefits of the Zoom era, much easier for group presentation, business launches, grand openings, more attendees on Zoom than in person. Everyone knows and understands Zooms. It's become a universal platform for digital meetings. You don't have to meet with your clients three different times. You only have to meet with them twice because we're not collecting money up front. We're not collecting money up front, so it's so much easier now. We're leveraging social media, business media for prospecting, recruiting, and sales. This is the perfect storm. Kobe Bryant passed away, rest in peace. So everyone's thinking about life insurance. Coronavirus is going around. Everyone's thinking about term LBs and living benefits and chronic and critical and terminal illness and long-term care and life insurance. The stock market is up and down, up and down, up and down. Everyone needs guarantees on their money. The presidential, presidential election is on Tuesday. People are uncertain and we can help them with that. This is the perfect storm. 60 million people just un, uh just claimed unemployment. So everybody needs to make more money right now. A bunch of people got furloughed. People know that their job is not the, uh, you know, <laughs> is not the way anymore. Starting their own business is the way to become financially independent. Presentations are shorter. Presentations are quicker. Presentations are faster. No more two hour presentations for the client. By the way, do you know we had a 20 page BPM? Now it's a 10 pager. We used to have a 20 pager, now it's a 10 pager. Isn't that awesome? Every Wednesday night at 6 p.m., we're gonna be presenting the new 10 page presentation. All right, next slide, next slide. You can now recruit people in different states. You can train people in different states without flying all over the country. That's awesome. We have a simplified and updated pinnacle system. We have a welcome packet, a fast start packet to make training easier and more organized. We're coming out with a new Pinnacle website and new Pinnacle app. Stay tuned. We've been working on that the last three months. It's almost ready. Because of that, Pinnacle is on fire. So how could you be sitting in a cold ice bath when Pinnacle is on fire? More success, more milestones every single day. You can't lose when you're on a winning team. We expect you to win being a part of our team. So those are 25 benefits of this new era. This is the best time ever to be a part of this company. I hope you guys are excited about that. All right, next slide. Next slide. Financial advisor versus financial professional. Oh, you have a financial advisor? Great. Well, we're financial professionals. <clears throat> Oh, you have a financial advisor? Great, but well, we're financial professionals. Do you know the difference? Oh, you have a financial advisor? Great, we are financial professionals. Do you know the difference? Next slide. 
here's the, here's the difference. Take a picture. Oh, you have a financial advisor? Great. Well, we are financial professionals. Do you know the difference? Financial advisors charge fees. Financial professionals don't charge fees. Financial advisors are captive. We are non-captive. Financial advisors work for the benefit of the company. Financial professionals work for the benefit of the client. Financial advisors have variable accounts. Financial professionals have indexed accounts. Financial advisors just try to sell you something. Financial professionals like us, we actually educate you. Financial advisors make you come to them. Financial professionals, we will come to you. Financial advisors, you have to call the 1-800 number. Financial professionals, you can call our personal cell phone number anytime. Financial advisors just work Monday through Friday, nine to five. Financial professionals, we are available 24 seven. Financial advisors require minimum on assets and minimum on income. Financial professionals, we help everybody. We don't care if you have $50 or $50 million, we can help you out, okay? Financial advisors try to lure you into something else. They have an agenda. Financial professionals, one and done, will help you out once, you'll be set for life. Financial advisors, they make money on you and they have no guarantees. Financial professionals, the better you do, the better we do. Financial advisors, they get paid off of the clients. Financial professionals, we get paid from the companies. Financial advisors, they have a quotas. They have a quota, so it's just the need of the company. Financial professionals, no quotas. It's the need of the client. So what sounds better, financial advisors or financial professionals? No brainer, no brainer. We are financial professionals. We are 10 times better than financial advisors. You should feel good knowing what we do for clients. Okay, this is awesome right here. Okay, next slide. Next slide. Number 17. Per month versus per paycheck. This is good stuff right here, okay? If you ask people how much per month can you save to reach your dreams and goals in retirement, they might say $200 a month. But if you say how much per paycheck can you put aside to reach your dreams and goals in retirement, they'll probably say $200 per paycheck. If they get paid twice a month, now that's $400 a month. Because most employees, they think per paycheck. Most employees, they think per paycheck. So if you ask them how much per month, they'll probably say $200 a month that they can save. But if you ask them per paycheck, they'll probably say $200 per paycheck, which now is $400 a month. Now you just doubled your premium. Does that make sense? That's a good close right there. Don't ask per month, ask per paycheck. Okay, next slide. So the best closers make the most money. The best closers make the most money. My wife and I, Daniel Linda Fombo, Juan and Veronica Jaime, Levi and Isamboni. These are the pinnacle board of directors. These are master closers. These are master closers. I can't wait to add Dr. Martin and Adeline Quende to this list, Mario and Lisa Bayona to this list, Paul and Stephanie Najoku to this list, Alex and Stephanie Haynes to this list, Matthew and Allie Welsh to this list, Peter and Leilani Lee to this list, Leland and Washma to this list, Eric Carter to this list, Chris and Roser Kaliwag to this list, Anthony and Laura Resendez to this list. Oh my gosh, we have so many great leaders. I can't keep up with all of them. Paul and Gabby Hart, Michael and Rochelle Chernowski. We're gonna have so many millionaires in this organization. Do you guys know that? So many millionaires. All right, you gotta go from a closer to a master closer. From a closer to a master closer, okay? Next slide. They say it, they own it. They say it, they own it. They say it, they own it. What does that mean? What does that mean? You gotta get them to say it so then they own it. So as an example, what's the most important thing in your life? They say, my family. You say, great. How much protection do you have on your family? If your family is the most important thing in your life, how much protection do you have on your family? They say, uh, nothing. Say, well, I'm glad I'm here. I'm glad I'm here. 
Hey, how much money have you saved the last 10 years of working? Doesn't look like very much. What if the next 10 years look like the last 10 years? How would you feel about that? Not very good. Well, guess what? Would you agree that you need to save some money? Absolutely. Let me ask you a question. I saw your car in the driveway. Uh, how much is your car worth? And they say, why? I say, I'm just curious. I'm just asking a question. I said, well, I have a Honda Civic. It's worth about $18,000. Okay, great. You have car insurance, right? Yeah, I have car insurance. How much do you pay for your car insurance? I pay $100 a month. Okay, so you pay $100 a month for your $18,000 car to make sure your car is protected, but you have a wife and three kids and you have no protection on your family? Let me ask you a question. What's worth more, your $18,000 Honda Civic or your wife and your three kids? Ooh, bam, drop the mic. Isn't your wife and three kids more important than your little $18,000 car? Are you kidding me? You should have a million dollar policy. We can get you a $1 million term LB for less than $100 a month. So what's more important? Your $1 million term LB for your wife and three kids to protect them, protect your family, protect your health with living benefits, or your little $18,000 car? Obviously, your family's most important because my family's the most important thing in my life. Would you agree your family's the most important thing in your life? All right. They say it, they own it. You guys get it? All right, next. Hey, life insurance is not for everybody. It's just for people who really, really love their families. Life insurance is not for everybody. It's just for people who really, really love their families. Okay? Number 19, the negative consequences close. Take them down the road of pain. Take them down the road of pain. Okay? So you're sitting down with two partners, two spouses. Let's, let's call it a husband and wife. Okay? You're sitting down with two, two people here and you say, hey, I want to make a point. I'm not trying to be rude, but I just want to make a point. You're sitting down with a husband and wife, ready? And you're like, boom, your husband dies tomorrow. What do you do? Cry. And then what? What do you do? What do you do? Do you guys have life insurance? Do you have a will? Do you have a living trust? Do you have all your finances in order? No, you don't. Take them down the road of pain. What are you going to do? You don't even have life insurance. You don't even have a will. You don't even have living trust. Your husband dies tomorrow in a car accident. What are you going to do? You're going to call the company. How much is in the 401k? Do you know that they say they have life insurance at work? That's not even life insurance. That's accidental death insurance. They have to die while they're at their job. And if they don't die at their job, in their cubicle, in their chair, they don't even pay anything out. And usually it's only one year income. We believe in 10 years of income. Hey, do you know that 90% of women claim bankruptcy within 12 months of their husband dying? Isn't that sad? Isn't that terrible? Did you hear what I just said? Proven fact, 90% of women claim bankruptcy within 12 months of their husband dying. That's terrible. We need to get this financial education out. We need to go see more people. We need to go help more families. Okay? Take people down the road of pain. What if you passed away? What are your kids going to do? What if you passed away? What is your spouse going to do? You're the breadwinner. Are you kidding me? I'm so glad I'm here. Oh my gosh. I'm so glad we're talking about this. Life insurance is not for everybody. It's just for husbands who really love their wife and kids. Well, you know, I don't believe in life insurance. Hey, you don't need to believe in life insurance. It's not a religion, but you need to protect your family. Well, you know, I don't want to get life insurance because what if I die and then my wife gets all this money and then she goes and marries some other rich guy or something. Hey, man. You can't be dead and jealous at the same time. You need to protect your family. And she won't have to go marry some other rich guy if you protected her. Boom! This is called disturb and entice. Disturb and entice. 
disturb and entice, take people down the road of pain. Good stuff. Say it with a smile, nod and smile. All right, next one, number 20. Customer service close. Customer service. Let me ask you a question. When's the last time you talked to your financial advisor? Three, four years ago. Well, hey, in our company, we believe in great customer service. I'll be talking to you at least a couple times per year. We do semi-annual reviews. We do annual reviews. I wanna make sure I provide great customer service. Let me ask you a question. When's the last time you talked to your insurance agent? Oh my gosh, three, four years ago. Well, guess what? We believe in talking to our clients at least a couple times per year. You can call me anytime. I'm here for you. We have great customer service. Write this down. This is not a one-time sale. I want this to be a lifelong partnership. This is not a one-time sale. I want this to be a lifetime friendship. This is not a one-time sale. I want to be this to be a lifelong relationship. This is not a one-time sale. I want this to be a lifelong partnership. Okay, we're gonna be talking a couple times per year. I wanna help you out. I wanna help your spouse. I wanna help your kids. I wanna help your parents. When your kids grow up and are over 18, I wanna help them. This is not a one-time sale. This is a life, lifelong partnership. We're gonna have great customer service, do the right thing for you, because the only shortcut is to do it right the first time. You're gonna be very happy with what we do because eventually I'd love to come into business with you and we can help others. Next, 21, sense of urgency, sense of urgency. You got to have a sense of urgency, okay? Sense of urgency. Within 24 hours, your client has already forgot 75% of what you went over with them. So that's why you got to close them right on the spot, okay? You sit down with them, you educate them, you make a friend, you help them, and then you close them. Do you know why it's like a hundred times easier right now to close people than it's ever been? Do you know why? Because we're not even taking money up front. We're doing trial apps. We're doing zero to a hundred. We're doing COD, cash on delivery. So you can close them right now on the spot. You're not taking any money away. You're not taking any money from them. They're, you're doing a free physical. So if we're rolling over their 401k, no taxes, no fees, no penalties, roll your money over and we're gonna give you a free 20% signing bonus just to start the account. And if you're doing an IUL or a term LB or an Everest, we're not gonna take any money out of your pocket. We're gonna make sure you get approved first. We're gonna do it right. So you can close them right then and there, boom. And then once they get approved, then they start saving money then they start paying their premium. So that's why it's so much easier to close them right now because you don't even have to take money up front. This is way easier. Oh my goodness, way easier, okay? So have a sense of urgency, have a sense of urgency and turn that sense of urgency into a state of emergency and help them right now. Close them right now. That's like you walking on a, a car lot you say, I want to buy this Mercedes Benz. And then, the, and then the car salesman says, you know what? Why don't you go home and think about it for a couple of weeks and then get back to me? Are you kidding me? You lose the sale. Strike while the iron's hot. Does that make sense? Strike while the iron's hot. If they say, uh, I want to talk to my spouse, I'll say, great. Let's call your spouse right now. Let's jump on a, a Zoom with your spouse right now. Okay. If they say, I have to pray on it, say, please bow your heads. Let's pray. Dear Jesus, thank you for this day. Right. Boom. Let's make it happen. Hey, let's pray on it. Let's sleep on it. You say, all right, am I sleeping downstairs or upstairs? You have a pillow for me? Let's sleep on it. <laughs> you got to be a closer. You got to be a closer. You got to be a closer. All right. Good stuff. Sense of urgency. Okay. Next. Rent versus own. Rent versus own. Are you renting your gains in your retirement account? Or would you rather own your gains? Renting your gains is variable. Up and down, up and down. You're just renting your gains. With our products, with index strategies, you're actually owning your gains. You're locking in your gains. You're owning your gains. Okay? 
Would you rather rent your income at your job or own your income with our business? You actually own your own business and own your own company and own your own income with our business, okay? Would you rather rent your insurance or own your insurance? With a term policy, you're renting your insurance. With an IUL, you actually own your insurance. Would you rather rent a house or own a house? Own a house. Would you rather rent your insurance or own your insurance? Own your insurance. Would you rather rent your gains in the market or own your gains in the market? Own your gains. Would you rather rent your income, rent your job, or own your business? Rent versus own. That's money right there. Okay, next one. 23, employee versus business owner. Hey, you got to have big goals. You got to have big dreams or you're going to end up working for someone who does. Okay. Are you a hustler or are you getting hustled? Are you a hustler or are you getting hustled? Okay. Are you throwing money or are you dancing for it? Are you throwing the money or are you dancing for it? Like Jennifer Lopez says. All right. Here's another one. You either work for an entrepreneur or you become an entrepreneur. You either work for a business owner or you become a business owner. You know, our kids are 9, 10, 11 years old, and then we have an almost two-year-old. 9, 10, 11-year-olds, and then a two-year-old. You know what I always tell my kids? Anywhere we go, anywhere we go, I, I tell my kids, would you rather work at this restaurant or own this restaurant? They say, Daddy, I want to own the restaurant. I said, would you rather work at this gas station? Would you rather own the gas station? Daddy, I'd rather own the gas station. All right, kids, would you rather um, work at this car dealership or own this car dealership? Daddy, I'd rather own the car dealership. Do you want to work at this financial firm or own the financial firm? Own the financial firm. Do you want to be an employee or a business owner? Okay, because at a job, at a J-O-B, just over broke, jail operating as a business, they pay the position, not the person. You guys know that? At a job, they pay the position, not the person. You're a manager, you make 80,000 a year. You're a general manager, you make 90,000 a year. You're a supervisor, you make 70,000 a year. They pay the position, not the person. Here in our business, <clears throat> here in our company, in WFG and Pinnacle, we pay the person. What would you rather be, an employee or a business owner? It goes without saying next, next. <clears throat> so do you know that only 5% of the wealth are for employees and self-employed people, but 95% of the wealth business owners and investors. Did you guys know that? Isn't that crazy? 5% of the wealth, in the United States are for employees and self-employed people. Okay. But 95% of the wealth, are for business owners and investors. So what we wanna do is we wanna help you go from the left side to the right side. And that's why we gotta go out there and recruit. Because what do we do in Pinnacle? RBLC, recruit, build, lead, and compete. RBLC, recruit, build, lead, and compete. So we wanna take you from the left side of the spectrum to the right side of the spectrum, which is called the cash flow quadrant by Robert Kiyosaki. So you start out as an employee, then you go to self-employed. Self-employed is starting this business without a team. Starting this business without a team, you're self-employed, you're in business for yourself and by yourself. You gotta get to a business owner position where you build an agency, you have a team, you have a system, and that's how you create wealth, and then eventually you'll become an investor. Okay, next slide. Hey, we have the best business platform in the world. Best business platform in the world. Here's a really good question to ask people. If the money was right and it fit into your schedule, would you consider a part-time business? Write that down. If the money was right and it fit into your schedule, would you consider a part-time business? Here's another good question. How would you like to have a cash Christmas? There's only two months left until Christmas. How would you like to have a cash Christmas? What if I can put an extra $10,000 into your pocket before Christmas? Let me ask you another question. 
If you made as much money next year in 2021 as you did this year in 2020, would you be totally happy and totally satisfied with that income? Probably not, right? Probably not. So let me show you a great business. We believe we are the best business platform in the world. What if I told you you could start your own business, but you have no employees, no inventory, no workman's comp, no payroll, no overhead, no cold calling, no flyers on doorsteps, no boss, because nobody wants a boss, because if you spell boss backwards, what does that spell? Double SOB, no quotas, no discrimination, no liabilities, no experience necessary, no glass ceiling, no HR department, no theft, no politics, no set schedule, no lease to sign, no territorial limits, no big upfront cost to get started. We get paid twice a week, every Tuesday, every Friday, residual income, trail income, renewal income, 1099 income, no taxes taken out of your check, massive passive income, monthly bonus pools, quarterly bonus pools, annual bonus pools, advances up front, unlimited income potential, and the ownership program where you own this business, you can pass it on to your kids one day, you can sell this business at a later date. With all these great benefits, would you be open to start a part-time business? Yes or yes, of course, absolutely. This is the best business in the world. I hope you feel blessed to be a part of this business. I know I do. Next slide. Next slide. 24, things to say, things to show. We mentioned that earlier. Client examples, client statements, client articles, things to say, things to show. Say it and then back it up. Say it and then back it up. Say it and then back it up. Things to say, things to show. Things to say, things to show. Things to say, things to show. Say it, back it up. Okay, next. Hey, this is money right here. Remember I told you we have a new presentation uh, and the new 10 pager instead of 20 pages, now it's only 10 pages. We put the three rules of money, instead of having it in three different pages, we have it all in one page now. Isn't that awesome? This is really good. So instead of three different pages, it's all in one page. Because this is the Zoom era. This is the new Zoom era. Faster, faster, faster. Take a picture of this right here. This is money. This is money. Take a picture of this. All right. So there's three rules of money. Rule of 72, how money grows, how money gets taxed. We have the accumulation phase, the protection phase, and the distribution phase. There's three different phases of your money. There's three different phases of your retirement. There's the accumulation phase, the protection phase, and the distribution phase. Most financial advisors, they only focused on accumulation. They never focus on protection. They never focus on distribution. So here in our company, with our products, we're gonna show you how to get six to 12% returns, index strategies, lock in your gains, accumulate your money, protect your money, and give you some tax advantages. Bam! Most financial advisors, they just do accumulation. What about protection? What about distribution? If I can get you six to 12% returns, index strategies, guarantees on your money, lock in your gains, and take all the money out tax-free. Would that be something you'd be open to? Million dollar guaranteed tax-free, no fees. Million dollar guaranteed tax-free, no fees. Million dollar guaranteed tax-free, no fees. If I can get you a million dollar guaranteed tax-free, no fees, would that be something you wanna do? If I can help you go from the left to the right, would that be something you wanna do? Most people have fixed or variable index is the hybrid most people are getting one to four i can get you six to twelve most people are getting taxed now or taxed later i can get you tax never let's see if you're eligible for an upgrade let's see if you qualify i'd love to see if we can upgrade your your plan most people are getting one to four percent we can get you six to twelve percent most people are getting fixed and variable we can get you indexed most people are getting taxed now and taxed later let's get you tax advantages Oh, I already have a financial advisor. Great. Show me your guaranteed income stream for life. Show me how you're getting six to 12% returns. Show me your index accounts, how you're locking in the gains. Show me the guarantees. Show me your tax-free retirement. Show me how you have the accumulation phase, protection phase, and distribution phase. Oh, you don't have it, do you? 
We have it here, baby. We have it here. Let me upgrade you. You haven't heard it from me. We got the best. Bam. This is money right here. This is money right here. All right. Next slide. I'm fired up. Fired up. All right. Here we go. So here's an example of what we call a performance snapshot. This is the summary page. This happens to be Pacific Life, but you can do this with Transamerica, Nationwide, Symmetra, Prudential, Pacific Life, whatever, whatever uh, product or company you wanna use. This is just a summary. This is called the Policy Performance Snapshot Summary. So I just helped a client recently. I just helped a client recently and they're putting away $500 a month into their IUL. This is really good. They're putting away $500 a month in their IUL. So I show them on the last page, we can get them six to 12% returns, index strategies, and tax-free retirement. Accumulation phase, protection phase, distribution phase. So then I run an illustration, $500 a month. They pay for 36 years till they're 70. They put in $216,000 into their account. And then they get to take out $105,000 a year, tax-free for the next 50 years, from age 70 all the way to age 120. Because in the Bible, it says we're supposed to live until age 120. So you put in $216,000, you take out $5.2 million tax-free out of your account as a tax-free pension, plus you get an $8.9 million death benefit legacy for your family. So you took out a total of $14.2 million. If you put in $216,000 in your own family bank and you took out $14.2 million tax-free, would that be a good deal? Bam. You guys hear that one more time. If you put in $216,000 into your family bank over the next 36 years and you took out $14.2 million tax-free, would that be a good deal? If you put in $216,000 into your own family bank and took out $14.2 million tax-free, would that be a good deal? Are you kidding me? This is easy to close. This is easy to close. Oh my goodness, this is amazing how much we help families. Always do the summary page. This is what you put in, this is what you take out. This is what you put in, this is what you take out. You see why I own 57 of these? You see why Sandra and I, we own 57 policies? Now you know why, this is amazing. Six to 12% returns, guaranteed, tax-free, no fees, protect my family, protect my health, protect my business, protect my money. Wow, wow, wow. Next slide. Next slide, next slide, next slide. All right. So I also always show this. I also show this. I give them three options. Remember one of the best ways to close, always give three options. You remember that? Always give three options. So design one, the same the same plan, $500 a month, $6,000 a year, $500,000 of legacy life insurance. Okay, design two, same $500 a month. Okay, but instead of monthly, right, what we're going to do is we're going to do annual instead. We'll do an annual premium. Okay, and then design three, we're going to do a million dollars of coverage, but we're going to do a lump sum front load up front. Okay, here's a very powerful close. I want you to write this down. Two of the most powerful concepts in financial services is dollar cost averaging and compound interest. What if I told you, you could take advantage of both all in one product? One more time. Two of the most powerful financial concepts in the financial industry is dollar cost averaging and compound interest. I can show you how to take advantage of both all in one product. So how do you do that? You do monthly contributions into your IUL, plus you do a front load. Because when you front load the money up front, you take advantage of compound interest. And then if you do monthly contributions, you take advantage of dollar cost averaging. So if I can help you take advantage of dollar cost averaging and compound interest all in the same product, boom. 
So this is 500 a month. This is 6,000 a year. And this is 500 a month plus a $20,000 front load. Design one is 500 a month. Design two is 6,000 a year annual. Design three is 500 a month plus a 20,000 front load. Okay, so design one, you put in 216,000, you take out $9 million tax free. Design two, you do 6,000 a year, you take out 9.5 million tax free. Design three, 500 a month plus a 20,000 front load, you take out $11.4 million tax free. This is only at 6% interest. We're trying to under promise and over deliver. We're being very conservative with these numbers. And look at the income stream. 100,000 a year design one, 105,000 a year design two, 126,000 a year design three. So with the distribution, you took out 5 million design one, 5.2 million design two, 6.3 million design three. So do you see how if you do annual versus monthly, you get an extra quarter million dollars tax free in retirement? And do you see how if you just put $20,000 up front, in a front load, you get an extra $500,000 of legacy, plus you get an extra $1 million in tax-free retirement. So that's why you should do both. You should do monthly and a front load. Monthly and a front load. Take advantage of dollar cost averaging and compound interest all at the same time. And I always show these three options because if you give people three options, they'll close themselves. If you give people three options, they're gonna pick one. So do you wanna do monthly? Do you wanna do annual? Or do you wanna do a front load? I want you to write this down. Do you wanna do monthly? Do you wanna do annual? Or do you wanna do a front load? Do you wanna do monthly? Do you wanna do annual? Or do you wanna do a front load? Someone asked a good question. Why is there more tax-free retirement when you do annual? You ready? Because of compound interest. If you do $6,000 up front, on an annual basis, now you're getting 10, 12% interest on average on 6,000, but if you just do 500 a month, it takes longer to earn the interest. You guys get that? So, monthly 500 a month, design one, design two, 6,000 a year, design three, 500 a month, plus a front load. By the way, they have five, 10, 15, 20, $30,000 sitting in their bank anyways, earning 0.00001% based on the rule of 72, their money doubles every 720 years. Are you kidding me? So guess what? We need to help these clients. I want you to write this down. This is very, very, very important. Okay, write this down. When you're doing an annual premium or a front load, always get 13 months up front. So with our policies, an annual payment is 13 months. This is very important. Write it down. Even if you don't understand it, write it down. When you're doing an annual premium or a front load, always get 13 months up front. That avoids the chargeback. You've got to get 13 months up front. On an annual premium or on a front load, you get 13 months up front. That avoids your chargeback. Very, very important. Okay? So... You want to do monthly, you want to do annual, or do you want to do a front load? I'd recommend doing the front load so you can take advantage of dollar cost averaging and compound interest all at the same time. Boom. So go back. Wilson, what if you showed the three rules of money all on one page, right? Compound interest, indexed, right? You show this all on one page. If we can get you six to 12% return, accumulate your money, index strategies, protect your money, tax-free retirement in your distribution, next page. And then you put in only $200,000, you take out 14 million tax-free, and then here's your three options. Where do you see yourself starting out? My last client did $2,500 a month with a $50,000 front load, but I know you're on a budget. Let's just start small with you. Let's just do a $500 a month and a $20,000 front load. Bam. By the way, do you know you would make three, four, five, six thousand dollars on this one deal? Did you know that? If you did the front load, you'd make ten to fifteen thousand dollars on this one deal. The client gets fourteen million dollars tax free 
The client only puts $200,000 in over 36 years. They get $14 million tax free and you made five, six, seven, ten thousand dollars $10,000. What? Isn't that awesome? Isn't that money? You see why you got to learn how to close? This is powerful. This will change their last name forever. You get paid big money. The client gets helped out. Everybody wins. This is a win, 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 win situation. Awesome. All right, next slide. Next slide. Here we go. So this is my policy that I set up way back in 2006. I set this up for me with Pacific Life. Well, my upline set it up for me in 2006. And look at what rate of return I got. 23%. 23% return. This is amazing. And this is a $1 million policy, 245,000 tax-free cash, zero surrender. And I got 23% return on this money. This stuff works. This stuff works. This stuff works. Okay, next slide. Next slide. Here we go. This is another client we helped out. They put in 530,000 into a theme policy. One year later, they have $713,000. They earned 34% return, $183,000 the first year. This client is so happy, zero fees. Next slide, okay? If you have any detailed questions, please ask your SMD. If you have any detailed questions, please ask your SMD. But what I just showed you is how I close IULs. What I just showed you is how I close family banks. You see why I'm closing 90%? You put me in front of 10 clients, I'm closing nine of them, no problem. Because people need what we have. This is good stuff. We have the goods and they don't. We have the goodies. People need what we have. 25, the story closed. Let me tell you a story. I sat down with this lady. Her name was Maridel. She's a very nice lady. She came into business with me. She was doing real estate, single lady in her 50s. I said, Maridel, you need to get an IUL. You need to get your own family bank. She said, Eric, I'm divorced. I don't have any money. I'm, I'm on a budget. I have two daughters, but they're over 18 years old. You know, I said, Maridel, I understand that, but you can't sell shoes barefoot. You got to practice what you preach. If you're going to teach people how to save money, you got to save money. If you're going to talk to people about setting up their own family bank, you got to set up your family bank. She said, okay. I said, let's just do like $100 a week. Let's do something small. Let's just do like $100 a week. She said, okay. So we got her a $400 a month, $1 million IUL. We set up her plan. She got it all set up. And then three months later, she called me. She said, Eric, I just got diagnosed with stage four cancer. I said, oh my goodness, that's terrible. She said, I'm in the hospital right now. I said, don't worry, Maridel, you're going to fight it. You're going to fight it. You're going to beat it. No problem, right? You're going to be fine. And I was, I was in my 20s. And she was in her 50s, so I didn't really know about cancer or stage four, things like that. I said, don't worry, I'm going to rally your team because she built a little team of like five, six people. I said, I'm going to rally your team. We're going to have an emergency meeting. I'm going to help them. We're going to do some grand openings with them. We're going to do some appointments with them. So then once you get out of the hospital, my goal is to help you become an SMD. So I'm going to work with your team, help your team, and help you get to SMD. So I was calling her. We all went to the hospital. We were visiting her, me and the team and everybody. And uh, I said, Maridel, don't worry. When you get out of the hospital, you're going to be an SMD. We're going to help you. She was prospecting all the nurses. She was prospecting all the doctors in the hospital. And I said, don't worry. You're going to beat it. You're tough. You're strong. You're going to beat this cancer. So we, uh, we did a bunch of appointments with her team. And guess what? We closed a bunch of sales. We recruited a bunch of people. We helped a bunch of families. I called her, good news, Maridel. We just got all the points submitted for SMD. When you get out of the hospital, you're gonna be an SMD. It's so awesome. And then she said, Eric, I got bad news. They just gave me two days to live, 48 hours to live. I said, oh my gosh, no. So she passed away two days later. She died, it was so sad. And then her daughter called me, her daughter called me. She said, Eric, my mom would like you to speak at the funeral. I said, why, why me? She said, because my mom said you were her mentor. You were her business leader. You were her business coach. You were her friend. I said, I only knew your mom for eight months. She said, I know, but my mom loved you. My mom said you were guys were friends. You were her mentor. I said, okay. 
So I went to the funeral and Maridel was a little, you know, she's about four foot 10, little Filipino lady. So I went to the, to the funeral. It was me and about 200 nice Filipino people there at the funeral. And in one hand, I had a $500,000 check for one of her daughters. In the other hand, I had another $500,000 check for the other daughter. And I had a huge, big SMD plaque. So I handed one daughter 500,000 tax-free cash. I handed the other daughter 500,000 tax-free cash. And I had a huge, big SMD plaque. And I spoke at the funeral. And she passed her business on to her daughter. She passed a million dollar legacy on to her two daughters. So to this day, her daughter's still an SMD, earning residual income, getting paid every Tuesday and Friday, overrides, she's set for life. So guess what? Maridel was a hero to her family. I just got chills. <sighs> Maridel was a hero to her family. She left a legacy, million dollars tax-free, both her daughters were able to go to college. Both of her daughters were able to buy a house. Her two grandchildren were totally taken care of and funded her college. And then she passed her business onto her daughter. She left a legacy. So this is why I'm so passionate about what I do. This is why I love what we do. We change people's lives. By the way, we will do the same thing for you. When you pass away, we'll make sure your kids or your spouse Get your business. We'll make sure you leave a legacy for your family. This is a powerful story. This is a true story. When this happened to me, it changed my life. Now you know why I love what I do. This is not what I do. This is who I am. You got to tell stories. Facts tell, but stories sell. Tell stories. Tell stories. Facts tell, but stories sell. That's a true story. What we do is so amazing. Next. Here's some checks we paid out. Here's some checks we paid out. $1 million tax-free check, 477,000, another 477,000. We pay out, we pay out. This, is, this stuff works. Next slide. This stuff works, this stuff works. Winning streak, winning streak. Hey, all my clients are super happy. I've never got a client complaint. My clients are guaranteed, they're getting guarantees, protecting. I mean, I'm on a winning streak right now. None of my clients are mad. None of my clients are upset. None of my clients have lost money. I'm on a winning streak. All my business partners are happy. My clients are happy. I'm on a winning streak. I'm on a winning streak, right? None of my clients have lost money. I mean, hey, I have a winning streak. Everybody I help, I help them become successful. Please don't ruin my winning streak, okay? All the clients I help, they're all happy. Don't ruin my winning streak. All my clients I've helped, none of them have lost money. I'm on a winning streak. Man, I love what I do. I love what I do. They say, if you love what you do, you never work a day of your life. Simple as that, okay? In every other financial advisor, every other client, they're eventually gonna lose money. We're just on a winning streak. We're just on a winning streak. Okay, next slide. I work for the client, not the company. We are a non-captive agency. Every other company, they just work for the company. Every other company, they have their own agenda. Every other financial advisor, they just work for the company and they can just sell that product. Our company, we can sell any company, any product. We work for the client, not the company. We're a non-captive agent, okay? We work for the client, not the company. This is a powerful thing. By the way, I don't charge you fees. I don't make money off of you. The company pays me to help my clients out. We work for the client, not the company. So please tell me if you smoke, if you drink, if you have health issues, please tell me up front so I can pick the, the correct company for you because I work for you, not the company. Bam, that's a good one. Next, 28. Power of choice. We are a non-captive agency. We work with all these A-rated companies. We only work with the best, A-rated companies. We offer all these different products. We, we work with all these different companies. We have a buffet of great financial products and services, and we wanna help you out. I don't work for the company, I work for the client. We only do the best thing for the client, okay? Next slide. 
28, the consequence close. The consequence close. Hey, what happens if you don't do this? And the stock market goes crazy. Tuesday's the presidential election. The stock market's already going crazy. What if you don't get guarantees on your money and you lose half your money? What's the consequence? What happens if you pass away and your family's not only emotionally devastated, but financially devastated? Think of the consequence. You got to think about it. That's going to be an expensive thought. That's going to be an expensive thought. What if you did this business, you make $50 million in this company like I did? Worst case scenario, you'll learn all about financial education. Think about the consequence. There's way more pros than there is cons. There's way more winning than there is losing. There's way more upside than there is downside. There's way more positive than there is negative. Why don't you think what if in a good way? The cup is half full, not half empty. There could be a huge consequence if you don't do this. It's good. Next one. 29. All right, this is called the Ericisms. Let's have some fun. This is fun right here. This is the Ericisms, okay? But before we do this, I want us to do one more video. One more video. Wilson, let's do this one more video. We got 30 minutes left. All right, let's, let's play this quick video and then I'll go over the Ericisms because this is really, really good stuff. So don't leave. All right, do some push-ups, do some jumping jacks, drink a protein shake, drink a protein bar, have a banana. All right, let's watch this quick video and then we'll finish strong. This is my favorite part going over the Ericisms. Here we go. If I... If I... If I sell a stock at $10,000, my commission is 5,000 bucks. If you sell $10,000 worth of this stock, I will personally give you for free. <laughs> and I hope it happens. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, John. How are you doing today? You mailed in my company a postcard a few weeks back requesting information on penny stocks that had huge upside potential with very little downside risk. Does that ring a bell? Okay, great. Well, reason for the call today, John, is something just came across my desk, John. It is perhaps the best thing I've seen in the last six months. If you have 60 seconds, I'd like to share the idea with you. You got a minute? Name of the company, Aerotine International. It is a cutting-edge, high-tech firm out of the Midwest awaiting imminent patent approval on the next generation of radar detectors that have both huge military and civilian applications. Now, right now, John. The stock trades over the counter at 10 cents a share. And by the way, John, our analysts indicate it could go a heck of a lot higher than that. Your profit on a mere $6,000 investment would be upwards of $60,000. Jesus, that's my mortgage, man. Exactly. You could pay off your mortgage. This stock will pay off my house. John, one thing I can promise you, even in this market, is that I never ask my clients to judge me on my winners. I ask them to judge me on my losers because I have so few. And in the case of Aerotime, based on every technical factor out there, John, we are looking at a grand slam home run. Okay, let's do it. I'll do four grand. 4,000, that'd be 40,000 shares, John. Let me lock in that trade right now and get back to you with my secretary with an exact confirmation. Sound good, John? Good. Great. Hey, John, thank you for your vote of confidence. And welcome to the Investor Center. Yeah, thanks a lot. Thanks. Bye-bye. How'd you can do that? <laughs> just like that, I made two grand. The other guys looked at me like I just discovered fire. I'm really busy, sir. No, look, I, no, I understand, doctor. I, you know, I'm really busy here myself. Look, we're going to come back to you in one month with one idea and one idea only. You know, if you like what we have to say, great. You know, we'll, we'll do business. If not... I mean, worst case scenario, you're going to hit yourself a new business idea, you... Whoever took that x-ray, it is useless. We're going to part as friends. That's fair, right? Of what? The doc, are you working with a million dollars in the market right now? Who is this again? Hey, you know, tell me something. You're a doctor. Have you ever heard of a drug called Benadryl? It's being manufactured by MSC Pharmaceuticals. No. Well, listen, listen, okay? Listen, it's in the third stage of FDA approval, all right? Word is it's going to be approved within the next three months. And it could be tomorrow for all I know. But, you know, I, uh, you know I'm getting ahead of myself. And you're real busy over there, so why don't I just send you out the information you requested about the firm? No, wait, 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 forget the info, forget the info, let's talk about this now. What was the name of that drug again? 
Could you hold on for one second? Uh, I'm gonna get uh, uh, a senior broker who's a little more familiar with that particular stock. All right, hold on a second, okay? One second. Rocco! Dr. Jacobson, I, I'd say from the sound of it, he's definitely... Well, I don't want to hear it, kid. Okay. Hi, Dr. Jacobson. This is Chris Marlin over at J.T. Marlin. Marlin? Right, he's my father. He's my mother. So my associate tells me you're interested in one of our stocks. I will call her back. Uh, yes, uh, MSC sounds like it might be interesting. Might be? Might be doesn't sell stock at the rate MSC is going for it, Dr. Jacobs. We're talking very high volume here. Well, I still have to run it by my people. That's great, Doc, if you want to miss yet another opportunity here and watch your colleagues get rich doing clinical trials and don't buy a share and hang up the phone. Well, hold on a second now. I didn't say that. I just want to talk about it. Some more. Honestly, Doc, I don't have the time. This stock is blowing up right now. The whole firm's going nuts. Hold on. Let me open up the door to my office. <laughs> See that, Doc? That's my trading floor. Now I have a million calls to make to a million other doctors who are already in the know. I can't walk you through this right now. I'm sorry. Okay, okay, let's do this. <laughs> now, since you're a new account, I cannot go any higher than 2,000 shares. I'm sorry. 2,000? Are you nuts? That is way beyond what I was thinking. 2,000? Jesus! Listen, I'm curious. Why can't you tell me any more than that? Well, we like to establish a relationship with our clients on something small before we get to the more serious trades. Let me show you several percentage points on this small trade, and then we'll talk about doing future business. That sounds good. Uh, give me the 2,000 shares. Done. You sure you can't do any better on this one? I'm sorry, Dr. Jacobs. I can. I'm sorry. Oh, all right, we'll start with this trade then. Great. I promise we'll swing for the fences on the next one. Right. Do you want that confirmation sent to your office or your mansion? Ah, <laughs> uh -huh, very funny, Mr. Marlin. Let me put my secretary on and she'll take down your info. It was a pleasure doing business with you. Done and done. <laughs> stuff well those were a couple good videos right there and uh hey it's a business of words remember those videos are a little bit inappropriate but i want you to get the mindset down the mentality down you can be whoever you want to be on the phone you guys understand that you can be whoever you want to be on the phone i remember when i was 21 years old and i'd be calling people hi this is eric olson i'm the senior broker here with this firm heard some great things about you wanted to see if we can go ahead and sit down and talk you know would you be interested in making six figures part-time or a quarter million full-time you know boom boom i mean you could be whoever you want to be on the phone you guys get that you has got to be a closer you has got to be a closer okay good stuff so number 29 number 29 out of the 30 ways to close this is called the ericisms this is the ericism so these are the words that I use all the time to close people on recruiting, on clients, all the time. Real quick. Hey, real quick, jump on a Zoom. Hey, real quick, just fill out this info. Hey, real quick, what's your date of birth? Hey, real quick, do you have your credit card? Hey, real quick, do you have your checkbook? Hey, real quick, do you have a business card? Hey, real quick, jump on a Zoom. Hey, I'm gonna stop by your house real quick. Hey, I need you to autograph this real quick. Hey, uh, answer my call real quick. Hey, real quick, uh, I need you to go to this convention real quick. <laughs> just curious. Hey, just curious. 
the how old are you? Hey, just curious. If the money was right and it fit into your schedule, would you consider a part-time business? Hey, just curious. Uh, do you feel like you're getting paid what you're worth right now at your job? Hey, just curious about how much money do you have in your 401k? Hey, just curious. How much money did you lose in your 401k in 2008? Just curious, just curious. I'm not trying to be rude. I'm just curious. Is that fair? Hey, remember when I watched your kids a couple months ago? I mean, is it fair that you at least see what I'm doing? I mean, that's fair, right? Hey, I understand you have to think about it. Would 60 days be enough time to think about it? Yes, okay, well, is that fair that let's just start the paperwork? Let's see if you get approved. Let's see if you qualify. I mean, that's fair, right? Great. Hey, I know you have a million dollars in your account. Let's just start with half. Let's test drive this thing. Let me prove to you that this works. We'll do half now. And then once I beat what you currently have, we'll do the half later. Is that fair? I mean, that's fair, right? Does that make sense? All right, so everything we talked about today, does that make sense? I mean, sounds good, right? Great. Hey, so if I can get you six to 12% guaranteed tax-free, no fees, I mean, that'd be something you wanna move forward. <laughs> Does that make sense? I mean, of course, absolutely. So it's a one-time fee, $100, get started with our business. We'll get you licensed with the state. I'll start training you from A to Z. We'll show you how to make five, ten thousand $10,000 your first month license. Does that make sense? Okay, good. No brainer. I mean, <laughs> if we can get you six to 12% returns, guaranteed tax-free, no fees. I mean, that's kind of like a no brainer, right? If we can roll your money over, no taxes, no fees, no penalties, give you a 20% bonus up front with no fees. I mean, that's kind of a no brainer. Would you agree? If you can get trained by a guy who's only 38 years old, making $7 million per year for free, teaching you how to close. I mean, that'd be a no brainer that you'd sit on Closers College and watch, right? I mean, that'd be a no brainer, okay? Hey, let's go ahead and fill this out real quick. No big deal. Let's just go ahead and fill this out. No big deal. We'll go ahead and get you started. No big deal. This, let's just call the 1-800 number. Let's just see if you qualify. Let's just see if you're eligible. Let's just see if your money, I mean, if you have, even have any legacy money, no big deal. Just go ahead and just go ahead and fill it out. No big deal. Let's just go ahead and call them. No big deal. All right, real quick. No big deal. Let's make it happen. Write this down. Take the decision making process away from them. Let's go ahead and fill it out. No real quick. No big deal. Take the decision process away from them. Okay. Hand movements, shake it, but don't break it. Shake it, but don't break it. You have your business card. You have a credit card. You have your checkbook. Go ahead and pull it out. Let's go. Let's make it happen, right? If you go like this, all of a sudden they'll be like, oh my, and then they'll start looking in their pockets. They're looking in their purse. They're looking in their wallet. Real quick, no big deal. Hand movements, okay? Autograph. I don't want your signature, but I want your autograph. All I need is a couple autographs real quick. No big deal. And we'll be good to go. All I need is a couple autographs real quick. No big deal. We'll be good to go. Would you be open to... If I can show you how to double your income, would you be open to a part-time business? If the money was right and it fit into your schedule, would you be open to start a part-time business? If I can turn your annual income into your monthly income, would you be open to come in business with me? If I can get you six to 12% returns, guaranteed tax-free, no fees, would you be open to see if you qualify? I mean, right not, why, right? why not, right? So obviously, if I can put your family into a better position financially, that'd be something you want to do, right? I mean, obviously, if I can double your coverage for the same price you're paying right now, that'd be something you want to do, right? Obviously, if I can get you 6 to 12% returns rather than 1% to 4% returns, that'd be something you want to do, right? I mean, obviously, if I can show you where the bank puts their money, instead of you putting your money in the bank, we'll show you where the bank puts their money. Obviously, that'd be something you want to take advantage of, right? <laughs> I mean, we show the 99% of the world what the top 1% of the world does with their money. We show the 99% of the public what only the 1% keeps for private. We show middle-class people what wealthy people do with their money. And the best part about it, we don't charge, it's all free. So obviously, That'd be something you want to learn more about, right? I mean, of course, it's kind of a no brainer. <laughs> Real quick, no big deal. Let's get you started. Boom, 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 boom. Sounds good, right? If I can put your family in a better position financially, I mean, <laughs> that would sound good, right? Great. If I can get you zero fees with a 20% bonus up front, I mean, that would sound good, right? If I can get you trained by a millionaire mentor, I mean, that would, that would sound good, right? I mean, it's a no brainer. If I can get you 
to double your income, have no boss, flexibility of your schedule, make your own schedule, no alarm clock, spend more time with your family, but make more money. I mean, <laughs> that would sound good, right? I mean, that's a no brainer. Okay, real quick, no big deal. Let's go ahead and pull out your credit card. Let's get you started. Well, what we could do, I understand you have to think about it, is like 45 to 60 days, is that enough time to think about it? Okay, great. Well, that's how long it's gonna take for you to get approved. So what we could do is just fill out this little info sheet right now and we'll see if you qualify. Well, what we could do is we can just call the 1-800 number real quick and see if your funds are even eligible to be rolled over. Well, what we could do is we could just test market this thing, talk to three people this week, let me prove to you that this works, and then you can come into business with me. But what we could do is we can just watch this Closers College for three hours and learn how to close and then go make millions of dollars just like Eric Olson. Well, what we could do is we can get this recording and you can watch the same video 200 times until you learn to close. Well, what we could do is we can actually give our best in our own business and go change the world forever well what we could do <laughs> all right i'm getting carried away all right number 12 what we could do number 13 i mean why not right <laughs> i mean why not right i mean if the money was right and it fit into your schedule i mean why not right hey if we can take advantage of this and get you some guarantees and tax freeze and lock in your gains i mean why not right do you know the rockefellers had their own family bank i'm giving you this private knowledge to the public if I can get you the same plan the Rockefellers had, I mean, why not, right? If I can get you a million dollar baby, the same plan the Rockefellers had, I mean, why not, right? All right, it goes without saying. <laughs> I mean, if I can show you how to double your income, it kind of goes without saying that you'd be in business with me. If I can show you how to double your coverage for the same price, it kind of goes without saying that you'd want to do that, correct? If I can get you trained by millionaires on how to be a millionaire, it kind of goes without saying you'd want to take advantage of that, correct? Well. Let's get you started. It'd be good to go. It'd be good to go. Go ahead. I mean, just, just give them a call. It'd be good to go. Real quick, no big deal. Let's get you filled out. Be good to go. Hey, let's just fill out this paperwork. We'll be good to go. Let's just call the 1-800 number. Let's see if you qualify. You'll be good to go. Let's just fill out the paperwork real quick, and then you'll be good to go. All right, let's get you signed up. $100, no big deal, real quick, one-time fee, and then you'll be good to go. Be good to go. You'd be good to go. You'd be good to go. You'd be good to go. <laughs> I say all this stuff all the time. I know it's funny, but it works. It works. I'm going to go out there right now. I go, honey, real quick. Uh, no big deal. I'm hungry. Uh, what do we have for lunch? I mean, you want to make like spaghetti or Italian food, Thai food, Mexican food. I mean, real quick. No big deal. Honey, let's just uh, make some tostadas real quick. Cause I'm hungry real quick. No big deal. Is that fair? I mean, just curious. Uh, if I was hungry, would you make me lunch? Just curious, real quick, no big deal. And then she, and then she, and then my honey would say, "Honey, I know your tricks. I know your little words, right?" So here's the deal: you got to use this stuff. I'm telling you, it works, right? We tell our kids, "Hey, real quick, no big deal. Just eat your vegetables. Just eat your vegetables. No big deal. Let's get it done, okay? It works, okay? Pop by, stop by, drop by." Pop by, stop by, drop by. Hey, I just want to pop by your house real quick. I just want to stop by your house real quick. I want to drop by your house real quick. Hey, come drop by my office real quick. Hey, let me pop by your house. I happen to be in the area. Real quick, no big deal. I'm going to stop by your house. Pop by, stop by, drop by. No drive-bys. Pop by, stop by, drop by. All right? Hey, let me ask you a question. If the money was right and it fit into your schedule, would you consider a part-time business? Let me ask you a question. Your family's the most important thing in your life, correct? Well, let's make sure your family's protected. Wouldn't you agree? Let me ask you a question. If you did what wealthy people did, didn't you, don't you think eventually you'll be wealthy? Let me ask you a question. If you got trained by a millionaire, don't you think eventually you'll become a millionaire? Let me ask you a question. If you meet me halfway and I take you to the very top of this company, would that be something you wanna do? Let's make it happen. Real quick, no big deal, let's make it happen. All it is is a one-time fee, $100. I mean, what's the worst case scenario? Worst case scenario, you learn all about money. Best case scenario, you become the next Daniel Linda Fombo. Worst case scenario, you get a world-class financial education. Best case scenario, you became the next Juan and Veronica Jaime. What do you got to lose? Let's make it happen. Hey, successful people make decisions fast. Let's make it happen. Real quick, no big deal. Fill it out. Let's go. So fill out the info sheet real quick. No big deal. Let's make it happen. Man, I feel good about it. You feel good about it? Let's make it happen. Let's make it happen. All right. Hey, I do business with you. You do business with me. That's how the world works. I've been coming to your restaurant for a while. I always pay. I help your business. I do business with you. You do business with me. Is that fair? I mean, that's fair, right? Hey, that's what makes the world go round. I've been doing my... My suits at this dry cleaners for quite some time. I do business with you. You do business with me. I mean, that's fair, right? Okay, great. 
hey, you meet me halfway, I'll take you to the top of this company. I'm not gonna quit on you, you don't quit on me. I'm gonna be doing this another 30 years. I want you to do it with me. All right, let's make it happen, let's do it together. You meet me halfway, I'm gonna take you to the top of this company, okay? So this is how I talk all the time. These are called Ericisms, and I promise you they work. They work, they work, they work. So, if I'm recruiting someone, I'm doing their interview, right? I'll be at the end, I'll go, all right, so you guys know we get paid on the personal income, the agency income, the override income. There's renewals, trails, stock options, bonus pools, expansion income. I mean, there's a lot of benefits of this company, but we are a part of the number one division and pinnacle of all of WFG. We don't just recruit anybody. We're looking for good people. So let me ask you a question. What do you bring to the table? What do you bring to the table? Do you have business background, entrepreneur background, finance background, leadership background, sales background? What do you bring to the table? What do you bring to the table? Then they tell you, you say, okay, great. Well, I feel good about it. I'm gonna, put, I'm gonna give the final word to our founder, Mr. Rich Stolle, but hey, uh, if you meet me halfway, I'm gonna take you to the top of this company. You know, most businesses, it costs $200,000 to get started, $100,000 to get started. Our business, just a one-time fee of $100. <laughs> no big deal, right? I mean, that's not a problem for you, correct? Okay, good. Well. Based on talking to you, you're bilingual, you're sharp, you're hardworking, you said you love to help people, Man, let's get you started. Let's make it happen. So real quick, no big deal, I just need you to fill out this paperwork and then we'll go ahead and be, we'll be good to go. You come in business with me, I'll help you, I'll train you, I'll coach you, I'll build you, I'll develop you, I'll help you, I'll change your life. If you allow me to, if you meet me halfway, I'll take you to the top of this company. Any questions? Man, I'm excited for you. You excited? Man, let's go. All right, we'll be good to go. Let's make it happen. So real quick, no big deal. Just go ahead and fill out this paperwork. You got your credit card? Go ahead, go ahead and pull it out. It's right there in your purse. I see it. It's right there in your pocket, in your wallet. Go ahead and pull it out. Okay, there it is. Go ahead, go ahead, pull it out. Pull it out, let's go. Shake it, don't break it. Go ahead, it'll be good to go. Let's make it happen. It's a no brainer, right? <laughs> it's kind of, it kind of goes without saying, would you agree? Absolutely. All right, so we're at the end. So if I can get you six to 12% returns, guaranteed, tax-free, no fees, index accounts, lock in your gains, compound interest, dollar cost averaging, all in one product. I mean, obviously that'd be a no brainer, right? I mean, that'd be something you wanna move forward with, correct? Well, hey, don't get too excited yet. I'm not sure if you qualify. We still gotta send in the info sheet to the company, do a medical exam, make sure you qualify. But if I can put your family in a better financial position, that'd be something you want to do, right? I mean, if you could do the same thing the Rockefellers are doing with their money, I mean, obviously that'd be something you want to take advantage of, right? Okay, all I need you to do is fill this out real quick. No big deal. Just go ahead and fill it out. And it'll be good to go. We'll make it happen, right? No money up front. Hey, hey, you're going to be my lifelong friend. This is not just a one-time sale. You understand? We'll be talking all the time. I want to put your family in a better position. So just fill this out real quick. No big deal. We'll go ahead and fill this out. Do you have any questions? I mean, man, I'm excited for you. You excited? I'm excited for you. This is going to be awesome. Oh my goodness. Wow. I mean, why not, right? I mean, sounds good, right? I mean, what we could do is we can fill this out real quick and we'll be good to go. Let's make it happen. Man, I'm excited. You excited? I mean, this is, this is all fair, right? I mean, I mean, real quick, uh, this makes sense, correct? Okay, good. I mean, obviously, if I could put your family in a better financial position, that'd be something you want to do, right? I mean, could you, would you rather put your money in the bank or put your money where the bank puts their money? If you make wealthy decisions with your money, you're going to be wealthy. And all I'm giving you is private knowledge to the public. I'm teaching the middle class what wealthy people do with their money, and I'm not charging with you. Are you excited? I'm excited. I mean, obviously, it goes without saying. <laughs> We're going to go ahead and help you out. All right, real quick, no big deal. Just go ahead and fill this out. All right, you got your checkbook? All right, you got, you got your checkbook? Pull, I see it right there. Your checkbook, go ahead and pull that out. Get your account number. Okay, good. Boom! Closer, baby. Closer, baby. Closer, baby. A, B, C. Always be closing. So I know what you're thinking. Oh, my gosh. This is how you closed me. <laughs> gotcha. But you're glad I did. You're glad I did, didn't you? Yes, you are. You're glad I did. Hey, closing is helping. Closing is helping. Closing is helping. All right, good stuff. Next. Woo! Having fun. Having fun. What's that song? Feeling good. Like I should. All right, here we go. 30 ways to close. Halloween. I'm going to scare your bank account. You're going to make so much money. Halloween. I'm going to scare you. You're going to be at the top of this company. If you're not growing, you're dying. If you're not growing, you're dying. It's what you learn after you think you know it all. 
that makes all the difference in the world. It's what you learn after you think you know it all that really matters. Okay? We got to be growing. We got to be growing. We got to be growing. Because if we're not growing, we're dying. If we're not growing, we're dying. Okay? If you just get 1% better every day in 100 days, you'll be 100% better. So my challenge to you, next slide, one hour a day of personal development. One hour a day of personal development. Okay? So here's some good closing questions. Okay? We're almost out of time, so I'm going to run through this fast. When was the last time you had an evaluation on your life insurance plan? Never. Well, we would be willing to do a free evaluation to see if you can qualify for a free upgrade. Number two, would you rather rent a temporary life insurance or own a permanent life insurance? Number three, do you know how the financial industry determines how much life insurance you should have on your family? No. Well, our company has a standard system that would determine your insurance needs. It's called Dime. Debt, income times 10 years, mortgage, and education. Boom. Take a picture of that. These are some good questions. Good questions. Okay, next. Next slide. Let me ask you a question. Are you prepared to write a $1 million check when you pass away? Or do you want our company to write it for you? Bam! That's a good one. Miss, are you prepared to write a $1 million check when your husband passes away? Would you rather have our company write it for you? Bam! Number five. If I can put a plan together for you that allows you to accomplish all of your goals and all of your dreams, where you can retire at age 65, have a million dollars at age 65, give you 10,000 a month for the rest of your life, allow you to travel to Hawaii, allow you to have your dream home, drive, have your dream car. If I can put some plans together for you, is there any reason why you wouldn't want to implement these plans? Boom. Let's do it. Let's make it happen. These are good closing questions. Solid. All right, next. All right, top sales experts. Who should you learn from on closing? Eric Olson, Ed Milet, Juan Jaime, Brian Tracy, Ryan Stuman, Tom Hopkins, Zig Ziglar, Victor Antonio, Grant Cardone, Jordan Belfort, Mario Bayona, Dr. Martin Quende, Paul Najoku, Daniel Fumbo, Levi Amboni, all these leaders, right? You gotta do books and YouTube videos and audios Listen to these people. Listen to these people. There's a lot of ladies that are closers. My wife, Sandra, she's a closer. I'm telling you, she closed the master closer, which is me. Okay, so my wife's a master closer. There's a lot of ladies who are closers. Do you know that they say ladies are sometimes better closers than guys because this is an emotional sale? Girl, what are you going to do when your husband passes away? You need to be protective. You need to take care of you yourself and the kids you know ladies live longer than guys girl you got to make sure you're set right emotional sale i'm telling you i'm telling you okay so you got to learn from these sales experts okay one hour a day keeps poverty away if you learn on one hour a day on closing you'll keep poverty away and if you can close something you can close anything if you close something you can close anything okay next slide next slide okay GA, we got Raja Dhaliwal. These are for SMDs and above. GA is next in a couple of weeks. You got to hurry up and get to SMD so you can be a part of the GA. Raja Dhaliwal makes over $8 million a year, right? So that's awesome. Next slide. All right. These are the dates for GA, SMDs and above. Next slide. All right. We got NLA, Next Level Academy. You guys have heard from Real Misho. You guys have heard from... Um, Daniel Linda Fombo, you guys heard from Chip Pallet. Next NLA, save the date, Saturday, November 14th. So next Saturday, we have Pinnacle Kids Academy. Two weeks from today, NLA, Greg Stranotka from Canada. He just got his $2 million ring. This guy's a stud. You need to graduate the NLA. Don't just participate, graduate. Next slide, next slide. So our next NLA is Saturday, November 14th. Saturday, November 14th, chain, uh, save the date. Next slide. All right. This is our graduation, February 2021. Beach House Villa in Florida. It's going to be awesome. Who's going to be there with us? Who's going to be there with us? Yes? Who's going to be there with us? You've got to do 5 five thirty in October to graduate. Today's the last day of October. Today's October 31st. You have to do 5 five thirty in October to graduate no matter what. So even if you, by the way, post 
on there if you already did your 5-5-30. Say, I already did my 5-5-30, like Sonia. Sonia already did it. Post on here if you already did your 5-5-30 for October. Say, I already done, 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 done. All right, Jen already did it. Miracle already did it. Shannon already did it. That's awesome. Ainsworth already did it. Kim already did it. Russell already did it. Jane already did it. Steve already did it. You got to do 5-5-30 in October to graduate NLA. You have one day left. You have all today. Get it done. Get it done. Get it done. Get it done. Have a sense of urgency. Turn that sense of urgency into a state of emergency and go make it happen. Oh my goodness. Mark Henderson did it. Look at all these people. Joe Munar did it. If all these people can do it, you can do it. If all these other people can do it, you can do it. Okay. You got to get your pinnacle blue builder's jacket, pinnacle blue builder's jacket, pinnacle blue builder's blazer. Get this done. Get this done. Get this done. Make it happen. You know how to close now. You should be able to do this. All right. Next slide. Next slide. Money Monday. Look at this lady. This lady is sharp. She showed. She